Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening, guys. How are you tonight? Hello. Hey, good, good evening. evening. Welcome, Veronica, Jensi. We have Jessica Vanessa, Christian Daniel. Welcome, Thank Jessica you. Esmeralda. Welcome. We have also Jonathan Adonai. Welcome, Ana Beatriz, Jessica Franco. Miguel Antonio, who is connecting. Welcome, guys. Are you ready to continue? Always, yes. right? Always ready, always motivated. <laughs> That's good. Do you remember yesterday that we were studying here about the simple present, right? We saw about the affirmative form. We also saw about the negative manner. And... We saw about that in the simple present affirmative, we have the subject, we have the verb, and we have the complement. But this depends on the subject that we have is the verb. For example, if I have the subjects, let me remind you here with the subjects. We have the speciality, right? It depending on that. If you got the subjects, I, you, or also we have they or we, we are going to use base form of the verb. I, you, we, and they. Or if you have the third person form, then we use he, she, it. We need to include the S form in the verb. For example, in the case of drive, you include the letter S to the verb. So we have affirmative, and in the case of negative, we need to include also the auxiliary, also depending on the subject. If I have I, you, we, they, my auxiliary will be don't, or do not, right, if this one is contraction. Don't, the same case, if you have he, she, it, my auxiliary in negative, it will be does not or doesn't, if you have in a contraction manner. And also we saw some of the examples, right? So let's remember, auxiliaries do and does. Do not for the pronouns I, you, we, and they. Or does not for the pronouns he, she, and it. Any question? Tell me some questions about that, affirmative and negative. No questions? Entonces, solamente does not sería para los pronombres he, she, and it. That's correct. Only for the third person. He, she, and it. Third person oh, singular. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the rest of the subjects, then you use do not, if it's the negative, right? Mm -hmm. Now, okay. remember that you have an exercise in the platform. That is 1.4. Let's check this one. This is the example. And in this case, you have complete the sentences with the correct verb forms. Number one, you have conversation one. My family and I, and you have two options. What is the correct option? Live or lives? Live in the two words. Aha, uh -huh, that's good. So you use live, right? The base form of the yes, verb. Live. Why? Because we have plural subject, my family and I. Oh, live. Yes. <laughs> so it's live. Live. No S. Right? So my family and I live. So it will be like this. Let me write it. Live. Base form, because if you want to substitute my family and I, then it will be we, right? So, we will be in this manner, in this form. Let me show you this one. It's like this. My family and I is we. So, you need to use the base form of the verb. Right? Question on that? 
Mis, o sea que ahí no sería este como en singular. No, because you have my family and I. So if you say ah, my family and I, it's like we. Ajá, Ajá. Mi familia y yo. Sería ah. entonces el sujeto we de nosotros. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Si fuera solo tercero, entonces fuera, digamos, si fuera solo mi familia. My family lives. Mi familia vive. Ahí sí se tomaría como tercera persona singular. Ok. But in this case is plural. You need to include base form of the verb. Yes. All right. Let's continue then. Thank you. All right. Let me check something here. Okay, let's go ahead then with irregular verbs. Do you remember what are irregular verbs? What are irregular verbs? Do you remember? Uh, no. No? Remember those ones? They change. They are different than the regular ones because when you transform to the simple past, they are modified. For example, here, if you have bet, you have bet. What is bet? Apostar. That is, all of these are irregular verbs. That they are a minority. Son la, minor la minoría. Los verbos regulares. Serían aquellos que cuando los transformamos al pasado llevan una ed, pero los irregulares pueden cambiar en su forma. Llevando, pero esos no serían los que llevan ing o sí. No, ese es no, otro verdad. tiempo, ese es de presente progresivo. Eso es cuando la, la acción se está realizando en el momento. Ah, ok. Y eso de acá es para acciones cotidianas, para rutinas diarias para frecuencias, que, con qué frecuencia nosotros realizamos cierta actividad, algo que se realiza. Y el ING es algo que se realiza en el momento. So these are some examples. We have bet, go, ring, build, buy, feed, fight, fly, tell, teach. Do you have a new verb? Algún verbo nuevo? Any new verb? Uh, I have a question. Yes, tell me. What is, what is fly? Fly. For yes. example, the birds, las aves, what's the action that they do? They fly. Volar. Yes. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. Fly. You also fly when you travel. Yeah. When you travel to another country, you fly on an airplane. Fly. And bring? Bring. Bring means traer. Bring money. Bring food. Bring soda. Bring the books. Traer. Any tell. other? Which one? Oh, tell. Tell, tell means tell. decir tell. o contar. Perdón, hey, no lo escuché. Good evening, welcome. Decir o contar. Hola, Ticha. Hello. Hey, Catherine. Hola, este Welcome. voy a estar también hoy. No estoy oh. en casa también. Ok, Catherine. Ok. Thank you. Good night, teacher. Good evening, Adam. How are you? Welcome. <laughs> René, welcome. Kevin, welcome. María de los Ángeles, welcome. We Thank you. Also. Good night. Welcome, guys. Good Thank evening. You, teacher. Welcome to your session. Welcome, guys. Roxana is also right now. Luz Garcia. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Ibis also. Welcome. It's good to see you. One more time. Teacher. Yes, tell me. There is a list of irregular verbs. A list, yes. Actually, yes. Oh, okay. We have. But it's not always like that. The total, right? Oh, They're okay. always including. Oh. No siempre hay como una cantidad limitada, porque siempre se van agregando más. Good okay. evening, teacher. Mm -hmm. Hey, good evening. Excuse Welcome. Me. 
Edith, welcome to your class. Uh, teacher, um, disculpe, simplemente fíjese que no puedo activar el video porque estoy trabajando ahorita. Ah, ok. But you are going no, to be pero aquí estoy, sí, 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 aquí estoy de oyente. Ah, ok, Edith. Thank you. Thank okay. you for informing me. Thank, thank you, you so much. All right. Thank okay. you. Okay. So, any other verb? Any other new verb? Teach. That you have? Teach. I am a teacher. The action that I do is that I teach you. Teach. More well, enseñar. Exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. That is teach. What about build? Um, construir, creo. Exactly. No sé. That is correct. Buy. Comprar. 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 Seven, that's good. Feed. No. What is feel? You give food. For example, uh, when you have a baby, you give food to the baby. Alimentar. Alimentar. You feed, uh -huh. you feed uh -huh. your baby. You feed uh, the dog. You feed the cat. Feed. Give food. What about fight? Se pronuncia food. No, feed, 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 feed. feed. Food is like uh -huh. comida. Food, food is comida. Uh -huh, exactly. Uh -huh. You give food, that comida, you feed. What about fight? What is fight? Pelear. Excellent. That's Gold. good. Very common in fight. video games. Pelear. Right? Very common. Pelear, luchar. Okay. That's all right. Good one. Okay, so these are only some examples, but we have a lot of more, right? Muchos más, right? These are only examples. Now, I got an exercise here. And we have simple present statements with irregular verbs. So you have I, you, we, and they. And we got the examples here. It says, I have a bike. We do our homework every day. My parents go to work by bus. So let's observe that we have the subjects I, we, they. But also you can use you, right? And what is the form of the verb? It's base form. Look at in the first one, you say have, do, go. Use base form of the verb in these subjects. Now, in the third person singular, he, she. For it, we need to use the third person form of the verb. My father has a car. So you see, it's no haves, right? Or have. But you include the S form of the verb. My mother does a lot of work at home. Does is the third person uh -huh. form of do. That's the third person. The bus goes downtown. A goes is the third person form of the verb go. Questions? Any question no. about it? No? no? Okay, let's do the exercise. It says, Ashley is talking about her family and her friend, Jason. Complete the sentences, then compare with a partner. Let's see about number one. My parents have a house in the suburbs. My mom and dad, what will be the correct? Goes. My mom and dad. My mom Goes. and dad. So it's Goes. plural. Uh -huh, Goes. Because it's, plural. it's plural, right? It's not only my mom. It's my mom and dad. So mm -hmm. it's like they. So you Two need... Person. It's two persons, correct. Oh. So you have plural. Mm -hmm. Need to use base form of the verb, correct. Oh. My mom Gosh. and dad go downtown to work. Very good. Next part. My parents are very busy. So I, Veronica Cepeda, mm -hmm. help us, please. Do. Do. Do, excellent. So I do a lot of work. Very good job. I do a lot mm -hmm. of work. We have the base form of the verb. Let's see number two. Can you continue, please, Luz Garcia? Number two. 
Uh, my brother doesn't lie with live? you. He doesn't has live? doesn't live with us. Live with us. Good. He has. Excellent. Now it's third person singular. Excellent. He has. Continue. He has an. He has an apartment in the city. Thank you. Very good job. Nice. Roxana, continue. Eh, con el tres. Eh, no, continue with number two. Okay. We have, he has he, an apartment in the city. He? He go. Third person. He goes. Goes. Aha, correct. Because it's a third person singular. So now you use he goes. Continue. Read it, please. To he school goes. all day. And, uh, and he does. Excellent. And he office. does. He office does work at work. night. That's correct. Thank you. That's great. Nice. Now let's continue. Carlos Arturo, please. Number three. I have. I have. That's correct. Yes. A new friend. Mm -hmm. His continue. name is Jason. Jason. Excellent. That's good. Ana Beatriz, continue. We. We. Good. To we the go. Same school. Mm, that's good. We um, go to the same school. And sometimes we. Do it or homework together? We do. Plural. We do. We do. Excellent. Uh -huh. That's all right. Base form of the verb, we do. We do our homework together. That's great. Good one. Okay, now we're going to read it. That we have it complete. Kevin, please read number one. Kevin, are you present? Present. Hello, Kevin. Can you read number Hello. one, please? My parents. My parents. Has. Have. 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 A house in the. In the suburbs. In the suburbs. My mom and dad. Go. Don't 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 to work. My parents are, are very busy. So I do a lot of a lot of a lot of work at home. A lot of work at home. Good one, okay. Jency, continue please. Number two. Uh, my brother my brother doesn't doesn't live doesn't doesn't negative este my brother a hey, number two yes uh -huh. hey, my, my brother, brother doesn't doesn't my brother does it Living, live, live, living with us, with us, with us. He has, has, he has, has, he has, an uh, apartment, apartment, apartment in the city. He goes, he goes, he goes to a school. Are all day, all day, and he does. Does he of, does? He does. Of office, office or at night. At night. Thank you. Continue, Veronica, Maricela, please. Number three. I have a new friend. His name is Jason. His, his name is. Uh, his name is Jason. Is Jason? We we go to the same to the same school to the same school the same school 
and sometimes we do our home homework. 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 So together. 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 That's together. correct. Good one. Thanks. Okay. We have this exercise. And all of these verbs are irregular. And they have a different manner to conjugate. Now we also have a video. We are going to watch it in a moment. Any question about it? Question about the exercise? No questions? Okay, let's go ahead with our video. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn... No problem with the video? It's okay? The audio... No problem. It's okay. okay. Yes, okay. teacher. I Thank listen. you. Thank you. ...to form simple present statements using irregular verbs. Let me start by explaining verbs. In English, we have two types of verbs. Regular verbs and irregular verbs. Regular verbs form the majority of the verbs in English and irregular verbs are a small portion of all the verbs that exist in the English language. We need to learn both in order to achieve English fluency. In this case, we will talk about three irregular verbs that are used all the time to express ourselves. Have, do, and go. Let's analyze the chart on the screen. Simple present statements with irregular verbs. I, you, we, they. He, she, it. I have a bike. My father has a car. We do our homework every day. My mother does a lot of work at home. My parents go to work by bus. The bus goes downtown. Let's take a look at the examples on the left-hand side of the chart. I have a bike. We do our homework every day. My parents go to work by bus. What we're trying to illustrate in this case is that when forming simple present statements and whenever we use the pronouns I, you, we, and they, the verbs will not change at all. If we look at the examples on the right hand side of the chart, we want to demonstrate that whenever we talk about the third person, he, she, or it, these verbs, have, do, and go, will change. And they change as follows. Have equals to has, do equals to does, go equals to goes. Let's analyze the examples on both sides of the chart. I have a bike. Notice how the verb have changes whenever we talk about my father. My father has a car. We do our homework every day. Notice how that changes whenever we talk about my mother. My mother does a lot of work at home. The same with my parents go to work by bus. The bus goes downtown. Now, it's your turn to practice these three irregular verbs. I would like for you to form sentences about yourself and relatives and apply the rules that we just learned. All right, we got the video Teacher. there. Hello. I have a question. Tell me. Ah, no, después de que explique eso, no, for... okay. no es el case. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. As is in the video, you have the simple present statements, but these ones are irregular verbs. In the case that you have, I, you, we, they, I have, by, right? But we say that interperson will be has. My father has 
a car. For example, if you say also, I have a beautiful house. What will be in the third person? Ada, give us an example. Give us an example with have. In the first person, I have. Activate the microphone, please. Ada? Thank Wait. you. Thank you. Sorry. That's all right. Thank you. I told. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> So give us an uh, I, example with have. Uh -huh. I have a little house or mm -hmm. a big house. Okay, that's good. I have a big house. Excellent. That's a good. Oscar, give us another example, please. Now, you're going to use with the third person. Now, another person possess something. Has a bicycle, a motorcycle, a big family, a pet. Okay, I have a, I have a pet. I have a pet. Okay, mm -hmm. so in the case of a third person, I can also say, Oscar has a pet. Why? Because now I'm talking about Oscar. Oscar has a pet. Now, I'm not referring to first person that I, but I'm referring to Third person. Now talk about Oscar. If you want to substitute Oscar, what subject pronoun would you use? I, you, we, they, he, she, it. Which one? He. 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 Excellent. So you can substitute saying he has a pet. Oscar has a pet. That will be the, the third person. Now let's see. Abby, Abigail, give us another example, please. Now you're going to use with do. Do. In the case of, that means hacer, do homework, do exercise. I suppose that you say do exercise. Siempre sería con I o con... Sí. You can use I, you, we, or they. So you can practice the base form. You do exercise. Okay, that's good. You do exercise. Let's suppose that you say eh, in the morning. So include that a complement. You do exercise in the morning. What is the verb? Uh, exercise. Exercise. Do. 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 De hacer. Uh -huh. Hacer ejercicio, okay. right? Do exercise. So, my action here is do. Why you use uh -huh. the base form? Ah, because the subject is you. If you use in the third person, what is the third person of do? Does. Does, correct. Okay, so for example, if you say that Carla does chores, in the morning or in the afternoon? Afternoon. Chores. Chores means the activities in your home to clean the house. Los quehaceres del hogar. Das. Now, why das? Because you have a third person. If you want to substitute Carla, what do you use? He or she? She. She, perfect. So you can say, she does chores in the afternoon. Now, that's in the she does. third person form. What about go? Who can give me an example with go? Miguel Antonio, give us an example with go. Um, uh, my mother, dog. no, go ever. Aha, uh -huh. third person will be goes. Goes. That's good. Yes. My mother goes. goes. Third person. And you can mention a place. Goes to the beach, goes to the restaurant. Goes to the uh, goes to the park. Ah, that's good. Goes to the park. 
my mother goes to the park. Now we have third person form because the subject is she. It's a third person singular subject. So observe that the verb is different. You need to change the form of the verb. Questions about it? No questions? Uh, ¿Qué dijo que significaba chores? Chores. O, o la are... pronunciación. Uh -huh. Chores. Chores means eh, los quehaceres <laughs> del hogar. Y, y la, la pronunciación se parece como decir short o algo así. Pero... Which one? Shorts. Oh, you mean... Shorts. Shorts. Mm -hmm. This one? Shorts. Shorts, pero esa es una y prenda de vestir. Que... Ajá, esa, esa. A esa es shorts. shorts con T, ¿verdad? Shorts, exactly. Uh -huh. Hay muchas palabras palabra, que son bien similares. La otra. And, and the, there is uh -huh. another one that is short. Mhm. Uh -huh. Church. El, ah, church. Iglesia. Church, iglesia, iglesia. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Church, shorts. Also, there exists another one that is short, como adjetivo <laughs> de algo corto. Shorts. Yes, so Teacher. they are similar. Yes, tell me, Adam, you have a question? Yeah. Yes. Um, okay. Uh, pero no que no hay cómo formular la pregunta. La, la, la cosa es que lo, eso entra en los verbos regulares y los irregulares. Sí. Yes, it's the two forms of the verb. The two forms. La regla aplica para ambos. Sure. Vaya, pero alguien tiene encendido el micrófono. <laughs> Help me, please. Ok, I think. Vaya, vaya. Eh, mi pregunta es, esto es para primera y tercera persona, ok. Eso ya lo... Sí, por lo menos hay eh, un verbo irregular puede ser primera y tercera persona, teacher. Mm, no. When you have, it depending on the subject. Todo depende del sujeto que yo utilice. Por ejemplo, acá. Let's see. If I say, I, you, we, they, what is the form of the verb? What is the form? Irregular. Um, ok. No solamente irregular. Es acá porque sigue la regla del sujeto. Y este va a aplicar tanto para verbo regular e irregular, que siempre se va a seguir en forma base con estos sujetos. Si utilizo el sujeto I, is base form of the verb. You, base form of the verb. So I, you, we, they, mi forma del verbo va a ser siempre forma base. Siempre forma base. Pero si utilizo refiriéndome a tercera persona, It can be she, it can be he, or it can be it. El verbo va a ir en tercera persona, en forma S. Y algunas que solo lleva S, hay otras que se le agrega S, así como go. Su forma original del verbo es go, pero en tercera persona cambia. Le agregamos ES, igual a do, ES. Y how okay. cambia. Vaya, vaya, vaya. Entonces estos verbos son irregulares. Estos ejemplos son irregulares. Ok. Eh, para los regulares, estos ya, ya, o sea, son irregulares, ya no van a aparecer en los regulares porque son diferentes, ¿verdad? Exacto. Esos me van a cambiar. Son otro tipo de verbos. Ah, vaya, ahí está. Eso Eso es eso de... La regla me va a aplicar para ambos tipos de verbos. Pero van a ser diferentes. Ya es no va otro a verbo. Ser... No va a ser el mismo verbo. Ajá, es diferente ajá, el verbo, es totalmente diferente. Lo siento, compañero, ya, ya, sí. Thank you. Thank you, Ada, for your question. Any other question? No more questions? Okay, let's have some more examples here. We have here this one. I go to the store by bike. The subject is I. What is the verb? Go, right? So it's base form of the verb. You have a huge house. What is huge? 
huge means enormous. Enorme. You have a huge house. We do chores in the morning. My pets play with their toys. So we have the subjects. I, you, we, and they. What is the form of the verb? Play. Uh -huh. What is the form of the verb? Is the base form. Excellent. Thank you, Christian. Yes, is the base form of the verb. But now let's see in the third person singular, in which we include the S form. Martina goes to the music academy. What is the subject? Martina. Sí. Martina. That's good. Martina. What is the verb? Goes. 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 That's correct. Okay, so it's the person form of the verb. Algunos tienen problemas para escuchar. Algunos me, oh, me reportan acá que escuchan como cortado. No, teacher. No? Ibis? Sí, sí, se escucha. Bien. ¿Se escucha bien? Se escucha cortado, mis, desde, desde el inicio de la, de la clase. Tal vez el audio. Si desconecta él, si tiene los, no sé si tiene auriculares o audífonos. Si prueba desconectándolos y después conectándolos. Yo estoy escuchando bien. ¿Se escucha bien? Sí. René Cruz, sí. Yo también. Yes, no Yo también. Ok, tal vez es un problema con, sí. a veces con el USB. Se me cortó, pero... Se escucha ya. No, 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 o la señal a veces también falla. Okay, we continue here. We have Samantha does a great job at the company. What is the subject? Samantha. 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 Excellent. Samantha is a she. That's my subject. The third person will be does. Does. Richard has friends in Spain. What is the subject that we have? Richard. It's he. Richard. He. Is a he? Excellent. That's good. Is Richard? Is a he? What is the verb? Has. Has. Excellent. So you see, the base form of the verb is have, but we don't say have, right? It is different. You need to modify when you include in the third person form. Has. Questions about this? El complemento sería el complemento. René, se le escucha eh, Sería cortado. complemento decir... Ok, pues, eh, Hello. No se escucha bien. Sí, sí, me escucha. Ahorita se le escucha como cortado. No hay con el audio. Yes, we have problems with audio. Sí. Vamos a que se arregle el audio. Let's wait, let's wait. Okay, okay. So we have on the third person here. Let's erase this. Okay. Miss, una pregunta yes. Tell me. Eh, que quizás es algo. Eh, Que no tengo tan claro toda. O oh, estoy aprendiéndolo. Go, yes, it's okay. Tell o sea me, que eh, en el que en los ay, en estos en los de I you we, por ejemplo, en el have, and they? Ajá, sería tú tienes. That is correct. So if you say en I go, el... yo voy. You ajá. have, tú tienes. Pero recordemos que el you Puede ser tanto para una persona, pero también para plural. Tanto uh -huh. usted o, o tú o ustedes. Pero la conjugación del verbo es igual. Y para los otros, las terceras personas ya no sería tiene, sino que tienen. Tien, tiene, tiene, porque es una. Ah, tiene. Tercera persona singular. Por ejemplo, acá, Martina goes, Martina va. Ah. Va a la academia. Samantha das. Samantha hace. Un gran trabajo en la compañía. 
Richard has. What is in that case? Richard has. Richard tiene. Excellent. That's good, right? So third person, he, she, or it is one person. Mm -hmm. It's only one, but it's another person. Mm -hmm. Gracias. Mrs. That is the difference. You're welcome. Any other question? Teacher, no. Kevin, do you have problems with the audio? Kevin tiene problemas con el audio. Kevin, can you listen? Es, escucha cortado. Tal vez hay problema de internet. Sí, es que por momentos se escucha como cortado. No solo Ajá. a usted, no que igual a los compañeros. Ah, ok. Sí, porque ajá, hay unos compañeros que también se les sí, escucha es así como cortado. Quizás hay problema, ¿verdad? Como ha llovido en diferentes partes, eso también afecta. Dicho, ¿es verdad que todavía no ha pasado lista? No, actually, right now. We're going to do that right now. Ah, ok. We're going to pass <ríe> at this moment. We're going to pass the list. Just let me know if you are present. You are present. Yes. Adali said, are you present? Yeah, present. Yes, right? Present, yes. Present, present. Thank you. Ana Beatriz? Present. Thank you. Angelica, Maria? Carlos Arturo? Present. Thank you. Christian Daniel? Present. Thank you. Edith Lorena? Presentation. Thank you. Gabriela Abigail. I'm here. Thank you. Ibis Areli. Ibis Areli. Is not present. Uh, oh, yes, Ivy. I remember I saw you. Sí, sí, Ibi, present. Ibi, ahí, Estoy yes. teniendo problemas ahí con uh -huh. el audio. Yes, pero ahorita sí, escucha bien. No, no le hemos bueno, yo no le he entendido mucho a la clase porque se ha escuchado uh -huh. cortado corta. y lo siento, Miss. Eh, ahora, yo lo escucho pero bien. Pero presente. Sí, he estado presente. Bien. Pero este, y ahorita, ahorita sí. igual, se le escucha cortado. Ahorita sí. Okay. Ahorita escucha claro. No, a usted sí le escucha. Ahorita ah, sí okay. le escucho, pero es la asistente. Ajá, ok, ok. Vamos y toda a, la vamos clase no tal. lo he entendido. Ok, igual va a quedar grabada hoy en la clase para que la pueda escuchar de nuevo. Ojalá que ya no dé problema ahorita. Thank you, Ibis. Jessica Franco. Jessica Franco. Joaquín. Joaquín Jesús. Joaquín Jesús. Jonathan Adonai. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. Juan Antonio. Present. Thank you. Catherine Rebecca. Present. Thank you. Kevin Orlando. Yes, I saw Kevin. He has problems with the audio. Lenin Monterrosa. Lenin Monterrosa. Lilian Patricia. Lilian Patricia, Luz Margel, Luz Margel, present, thank you, María de Los Ángeles, present, teacher. thank you, Mauricio Alberto, present, thank you, Miguel Antonio, present, teacher. thank you so much, Olimpia Valeria, <clears throat> Olimpia Valeria, Oscar Esaú. Present. Thank you. René Alfonso. Present teacher. Thank you. Roxana Guadalupe. I'm here. Thank you. Verónica Cecilia. Present. Thank you. Verónica Marisela. Present. Thanks. Jensi Alexandra. <clears throat> Present. Thank you. Jessica Esmeralda. 
Jessica Esmeralda. Jessica Princess. Rivas. Thank you. Thank you, Jessica. Present. Jessica Rivas. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Let's continue then. Okay, so we are here. We were with our affirmative four with irregular verbs. Now we have some practice here. In this practice, you are going to like, let's check here some of the verbs. Do you remember what is bet? What we say that is bet? Apostar. Excellent. Apostar. That's good. So yes. we're going to give an example. Let's see with bet. If I say, I bet $500. In the casino, I bet, I bet $100 in the casino. Okay, now you're going to use feed. René, give us another example with feed. What is feed? Alimentar. Aha, uh -huh, that's good. So give us an example. Now you can use the subject you. I feel my dog. Mm -hmm. Use a different subject. You. You. Yes? Use another subject. You. You feed? You feed? Aha. Uh -huh. You feed no what? Sería yo. Uh -huh. You feed and give a compliment. No sería your dog, ¿verdad? No. Yeah, it's correct. You can use it. Yes. Your Alimentas dog. a tu perro. You feed your dog. Your dog. dog. Uh -huh. That's correct. Que Good no one. <laughs> that is correct because you have a possessive. The possession here is the dog. So you feed your dog. What about begin? What is begin? Comenzar. Comenzar, empezar, iniciar. Yes. Comenzar. Maria de los Angeles, give us an example with begin. Um, we can use we, for example. The subject we. We. We begin. We begin. We begin. Be begin. Um, to learn English now. We begin the class, for example, or the English class? The English class. Aha, uh -huh, okay. We begin the English class and we can give the specific hour at what time? What time do we begin the class, the English class? At 8 o'clock. At 8 o'clock, right? Or at 8 p.m., you can also say at 8 yes. o'clock. Mm hmm Mm, that's good. We begin the English class at 8 o'clock. Good one. Now let's use with fight. René, give us an example with fight. Let's suppose that now you use they. They use they. They fight. So now it's plural, plural subject. The fight. No, I'm not Fight. Ellos pelean. Hola, let's give a compliment. Y okay. podemos incluirle un lugar. Ellos pelean en la plaza. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. That's good. In the place. They fight in the place. Very good. That's nice. Good one. Okay. Now let's continue with. 
Christian. Christian, give us an example, please. Now with bring. The you remember the what is? Word. It plays. What about bring? Christian? Fire. Give us an example. Uh, Aha, very good. Nice. Give us an example. Now you bring... I'm sorry? He brings. He brings. Excellent. Now we use the third person form. Uh, he brings what? The water. That's great. He brings the water. And you can say every day, right? To include like a routine. Yeah. He brings the water every day. Really good job. Nice one, Christian. Thank you. Let's see, Gabriela. Abigail. Now give us an example with build. What is build? Construir. Excellent. That's good. Give us an example. Now use she. Or you can use a specific name of the person. Abigail? Use a specific name of the person. Can be my grandfather, my father, my friend, my best friend, my neighbor. Okay. Abigail, are you present? Mario. Okay, Bill. good. Mario? Bill, ¿cómo se dice ese? Third person, remember? Build, but uh -huh. it's third person. It's a he. Builds. A, a house. Oh, there, that's good. Builds a house. Bills, uh, Bills a house. Bills. Give a compliment a in the city, for example. In the city. And there you have a compliment. Yes. Mario builds a house in the city. What about tell? Let's use tell. <laughs> Jessica, <laughs> Vanessa. Give us an example, please. Now use See? tell. <laughs> Decir o contar. Decir o contar. Decir o contar. You can use different subjects. Cualquier sujeto. Remember, depends on the subject is the form of she the word. She tell a uh, story. She tells. She te es tell. Tells, oh, because it's third person. Okay. She tells a uh, ah. story. Ah, okay. A story. Give a compliment. She tells a story in the class and in the house. In the school. Ah, that's good. In the school. She tells a story in the school. That's all right. Good one. She tells a story in the school. Nice. Now Please let's use have the a word. question. Tell me. Tells puede ser también para contar números. No. no. That is different. In that case, when you talk about numbers, you use the verb count. Let me show you. In the text, count. Solo se puede usar para decir yo Tell a yo story. Cuento... Ajá, como de informar algo. Ajá, correct. De contar un chambre, contar una historia, contar una leyenda, relatar, relatar o decir algo, informar. Pero en el caso de contar números es count. Count numbers. Count from one to ten. Contar del uno al diez. Count from one to, or to, from zero to one hundred. But that's only about numbers. Thank you, Miss. Money. You're welcome. Count money. Also, you can count money. Eh, miss, yo tengo otra duda. Yes, go ahead. Tell me. Sé que todavía no vamos por esa parte, pero, pero quiero, quiero salir de esa duda. Este, yes, tell me. Para decir de nada, ¿verdad que hay otras opciones que no sean you're welcome? Yes, ¿verdad que hay you más? can say you're welcome. Uh, you can also say my pleasure. Es un gusto. My pleasure. Uh, mm -hmm. Not a problem. No hay problema. Mm -hmm. No problem. My pleasure. Anytime. Okay. So you have different manners to express it. Thank you. Voy a continuar. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Now let's <laughs> use with the verb. Thank you. Let's see with the verb bye. What's bye? 
Comprar. Comprar. That's all right. Good one. Let's see. Veronica. Veronica. Alegría. Give us an example with buy. Um, cualquier sujeto. Exactly. Any subject. That's okay. I buy mm -hmm. coffee. Sería como comprar. Exactly. I buy in the market. Oh, coffee. All right. I buy coffee in the morning. Yes. I buy coffee in the morning. The morning. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yes, we have the subject I and the verb is in the base form. Correct. Now, what about teach? Miguel Antonio, give us an example with teach, please. Teach es enseñar, ¿verdad? Uh -huh, that's correct. You use different, different conjugation depending on the subject. I teach uh, pictures. Teach pictures, no. It is no. not like a, in this context. No es en el contexto de mostrar algo sino uh -huh. de impartir una materia, enseñar una materia. Uh -huh. I teach science. Por I ejemplo, teach... como por ejemplo, ella nos enseña inglés. Uh -huh. I teach an uh, English class. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. If you say with the subject I, then it's I. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, so I teach English. I teach English. That's correct. Uh -huh. I teach English. So that is it, right? Es impartir, enseñar una, una materia o una disciplina también, como un deporte sí, sí. también. I teach swimming. I teach soccer also. I teach how to drive a car, how to ride a motorcycle, right? All of those. Now let's see with the bird fly. Thank you. What about fly? Fly. Yeah. Uh, I fly to Spanish in two weeks. I'm sorry? I fly to Spain in two weeks. Mm, in two weeks. Two weeks. Or on the weekend. Oh, okay. I fly to Spain on weekends. On weekends. Los fines de semana. Um, two weeks. Ah, but in two weeks is uh -huh. future. Ya cuando decimos esas expresiones, in two weeks, en dos semanas, ya me lleva futuro. Oh, okay. Yes. Pero si decimos, I fly to Spain on weekends, es que yo viajo a España los fines de semana. Oh, okay. Ajá. Es como una rutina. Okay. Algo que normalmente se hace eh, en simple present. Okay. Yes. Okay. Let's repeat this one then. Veronica Cepeda. Let's start repeating this, please. It says, I bet $100 in the casino. Repeat, please. I bet $100 in the casino. Excellent. Thank you. Let's continue. Rene, you feed your dog. You feed you feed your dog. That's good, yes. Maria de Los Angeles, continue. We begin the English class at 8 o'clock. We begin the, the English class, English class? At, English English at 8, eight? o'clock. O'clock, very good, thank you. Miguel Antonio, they fight in the place. They fight in the place? Fight, they fight? They fight in the place. That's good, yes. Jessica Vanessa, continue please. He brings the water every day. He brings. he brings the water every day. That's correct. Good one. Okay, let's continue with some. Let me check. Ibis. Mario builds a house in the city. Okay. Uh, Mario builds a house in the city. In the city. Thank you. Builds. 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 That's good. ¿Qué yes. es edificio? No, construye. Building es edificio. Con ING. Ya es edificio. Pero uh -huh. ese de acá es construir. De la acción. 
Ah, mm -hmm. okay. Jense? You fight. And fight is pelear or luchar. Mm -hmm. The next okay. one is she tells a story in the school. Jense? She um she tells she she tells a story in the school. Very good. That's nice. Okay, let's continue. Adalisa, I buy coffee in the morning. I buy coffee in the morning. Very good. Thank you. Let's see. Ana Beatriz, I teach English. I teach English. Great. Let's see, Jonathan. I fly to Spain on weekends. Jonathan? Jonathan, are you present? No? Jessica Esmeralda? Present. Hello. Let's repeat it, please. I fly to Spain on weekends. I fly to Spain to when I fly. I, I fly, fly to Spain to Spain on weekends. On weekends. That's good. I fly to Spain on weekends. Good. Okay. We have this practice, but tomorrow we'll continue with another practice. Mañana seguimos con otra práctica. And also with the yes, no questions. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so good much, morning. guys. Thank Have a beautiful night. Have a good night. Have a beautiful night. Have a beautiful night. Have a beautiful night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye, teacher. Sweet dreams. Goodbye. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams.